And then I just need to make Shoshana post. There she is. So she's not. Yeah. See. Yeah, my there's something wrong with my computer. The the visuals won't work for me. I don't. I don't. I, I can't even get like a picture up there. Sometimes people can put like a picture up there, but it, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. And but Shoshana it died one day and it never came back. Hi, Robert. Shoshana, Hi, did Jennifer, you just get you? a message? Hey, Good. Robert. Making you the host. Okay. Um, it doesn't, did you see a message? I didn't see anything that looked different to me. I got the notification that you're the host. Okay. You didn't? So, but okay. I, I want to make sure that if I leave, I don't close the meeting out. That's <laughs> So <laughs> if, if I do, just come back, to, just come back. Okay. Have a good meeting, everyone. Thank All you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Um, pursuant to chapter 20 of the act of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting can do so by clicking on the live link to this Zoom meeting that can be found on the public meetings calendar on the town of Amherst website or by dialing in by phone. The public is able to comment during the public comment segment of the posted agenda by raising their hands. This meeting will be recorded and will be posted to the town of Amherst YouTube channel. All right, um, Maureen, are you there? If you're there, raise your hand because I can't tell. I don't see. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Wait, there Hello. more people. I only have six. It says eight, so maybe somebody's waiting. I know. I yeah. I need. Oh, uh, there's two attendees. Wait, Lori says an attendee. Hold on. Promote to panelist. And promote to panelist. All right. There's Lori. Yeah, I think there must Hello. still be some funny business about the e about your email address, I'm guessing, from town hall. Is that what's going on? Or I don't know. And as Mark comes more great. Huzzah. Hi, everyone. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Maureen. Hello. Thanks for coming. Oh, and so, OK. Um, the, any public comment? Public comments always first. So, but like, we, is there somebody with their hand up? Or is, or is this from the floor when, oh, no, that's my hand. My. <laughs> Love it. Right. Are there any members of the public present except uh, not including Maureen? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, there's not. Okay. okay. Um, and let's go immediately to making it public since we got Maureen here and we want to not make her wait around. Yeah, thanks everyone. Uh, I, I uh, I emailed off the, the the draft copy, the latest version. Um, I gave, uh, I think I emailed it maybe the last, before th right before Thanksgiving. And then just today I updated it with a, just a couple minor um, edits. Um, and and um, if you didn't get a chance to see that, that's fine. We can, we can go through that, the updates. Uh, I believe I highlighted them in yellow just to point out them out. And um, those were based on conversations uh, with uh, Pamela Young, the DEI uh, director. Um, I had language about, um, about let's see here, um, there's a statement about eligibility. It, uh, and um, I had sort of lifted um, some materials from a different community regarding um, uh, equal, uh, their, their town's equal opportunity um, policy. And I, that was like a filler. So um, Pamela um, pointed me in the direction of the town of Amherst equal opportunity policy, which just gets into how, you know, we can't, um, the town, you know, does not prohibit employment um, of, as, as um, because of race, color, religion, gender, 
gender gender identity, pregnancy or pregnancy related conditions, national national origin, ancestry, age, veteran status, disability, economic status, lifestyle, sexual orientation, ge uh, genetic information, or any other category protected by the state and federal anti discrimination laws in all aspects of its employee employment procedures and personnel practices. I guess I'll just read it, uh, uh, it uh, or uh, if you, you, you all should have a copy in front of you, um, but um, this is the exact uh, language that the town of Amherst uses, and I just wanted to provide that. Yeah, that looks great. It was a good addition. Yeah, and then the other, uh, and then the uh, the other update was about who may apply. It's it's kind of repeating the same information that you know um, if you find on page two of eleven F who may apply. Um, you know the project is open to artists or in collaboration a collaborative team of artists um, to be considered. And uh, Pamela had suggested just um, some language that we had a sentence about how the town of Amherst is committed to building a a public art collection that represents artists from a broad diversity of race, color, ethnicity, language, immigration, status, gender, gender identity, sexual preference or expression, age, ability, religion, and criminal history. And that is a direct um, uh, cut and paste from the town's DEI office. So we okay. wanted to be uh, use language that the town uses. And I had um, borrowed some language from a different town. So we just wanted to be exact. Is this paragraph F? Yes. Well, as the resident lawyer who's in an, I am in an attempted retirement, but this doesn't quite work by lifting it because it appears to be addressed to the situation where you're hiring employees, which is not what we're doing. It might be, um, it might be used to misconstrue the relationship of the artist to the town. So it's just confusing. So it needs just a little tailoring. I'm, I like the philosophy of it. Yeah, th thanks, James. You know, as you as I read that aloud, I I noticed that mistake as well. Uh, so thank you for that. Yeah, that needs to be tweaked because so the, the so we would want to mimic how we wouldn't want to discriminate in hiring an employee. Um, and similarly, we wouldn't want to be discriminatory in in selection, selecting an artist. So it's sort of just a nod of that policy. But I, I definitely we will um, work, work with our HR director um, and procurement offer, officer just to make sure that the language is um, is satisfactory. Well, there's there's some other things that caught my lawyer's eye throughout the document for one thing it reads like a contract but it then it talks about there being a different contract so that becomes a little bit legally dense. could so you that, point to uh, the specific examples that you have yeah i can i don't want to set up to find it but maybe i just search for somewhere it talks about a contract, but you're definitely gonna need one anyway. And this this wouldn't be it, I wouldn't think. Uh, oh, so I, I know in one of the appendixes, uh, we I referenced what is a, um, a example contract um, <laughs> that- Let's see if I can find it. That the, the awardee would be um, signing off with the town. Um, and I was going to provide a generic form that our procurement officer uses. Oh, yeah. So like, uh, for example, there's a reference in 11D. It says contracting with artists. That's one. Then it says this contract amount. So that implies that this is the contract. Um, let's see. There's another. And then there's another provision there that was lifted that says this contract is exempt. And then below that, it says attaches the town of Amherst contract. So it's, you know, if I uh, ever got to, God forbid, the lawyers would have a field day trying to figure that one out. So just a little stuff like that, which I'd be glad to help you with. 
Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you for pointing that out. I'm making a note to make sure that those. Um, yeah, uh, uh, another issue is that it says that the, the, it's for at least four months, but we don't know who it is that decides if it's more than four months. We don't know who is responsible for removing the art. If there is an accident, we don't know who's liable, who's carrying the insurance, that kind of stuff. Now, a normal human being would not think of all this stuff, I will admit. Yeah. On the other hand, it needs to be in there. There's mm -hmm. somebody who has a question. Yeah. There's a question. I can't see the screen. Yeah, so. Robert has a question. Sorry. Well, I um I didn't want to interrupt that that particular questioning and, and responding. I, I was just in terms of process, I was trying to think of what would be the most efficient way to go through the document as opposed to kind of jumping all around. So I'm wondering if it makes sense just to start at the beginning and go section by section. And if people have particular comments on those sections, we could work our way through it perhaps in a in a more orderly fashion. Um, but um, you know, if anyone else has well, ideas too on how to how to make it the most efficient process so uh we use our time well yeah that makes sense to me it That's does good. to me too except it doesn't deal with omissions so we need to worry about that yeah i maybe maybe at the end or if if there's an omission related to one of the sections maybe that would be the appropriate time to raise those as well whoever is the host uh is that you shoshana could yep. you uh could you um Enable me to share my screen. That'd be helpful. How do I actually do that? I don't know. Um, if you go to your bottom of your screen where it says panelists and click on that, and then yeah. and then if you find my name, mm -hmm. oh, um, you should more. be able to like right click on it, and then it would say it might say um allowed to share a screen i'm kind of guessing you through this yeah how about i make you co-host oh, co oh yeah there you go that yep there you go thank All you right. we're working through this together all right are you experiencing all of the benefits of hosting now <laughs> benefits <laughs> yes. tangible and intangible <laughs> a good one Okay, so let's see here one second. So, trigger alert, these are going to be very succinct minutes because I can't possibly go through the contract in a minute at the same time. <laughs> I, I will say that our procurement officer um, and, and the town manager will be, you know, reviewing this very carefully with sort of a lawyer's eye. So, uh, but I, I do, I do, I love, uh, I, 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 so there's that, but I also appreciate your comments, Jim. So please proceed or, or let's start at the beginning. Uh, so the first paragraph is the introduction. Uh, Robert? Yes. Uh, so one minor thing, and, and I defer to people who may be writers in the group, but Seems like it should be invites instead of invite to me, the commission invites. But anyway, beyond that, um, a larger question I had, it, it's it's mentioned here, um, artists with demonstrated experience. And throughout the document, there's a lot of weight and in the, um, the rubric given to... Um, Analyst. Uh, flipping through the scoring. Um, experience working with municipalities, um, experience in executing projects. So I just wanna raise the issue and wondering if, um, if that's going to exclude um, people from applying who potentially might be very talented artists. And, and, and the reason why it's, it's fresh on my mind is that I just heard an interview with Maya Lin recently on NPR, who was the architect who uh, perhaps best known as the designer of the Vietnam War Memorial. And 
she was 21 years old and an undergraduate when she won that commission. And in fact, she beat out her professor. Um, and so I'm just, uh, you know, as we think about public art and uh, access to opportunity, I'm, I'm wondering about the weighting that we're giving to people with experience in this. I, I mean, I feel like there are safeguards in the selection process that obviously someone who may be brand new to this, who has not experienced uh, with this before, but who's a talented artist, um, you know, there, there, are other, there are other safeguards in the selection process that um, someone who is, is not able to see the project through to fruition would probably not ultimately be selected, but I'm, I'm wondering if perhaps we're unnecessarily limiting the field by uh, stressing so frequently and, and giving so much weight to experience in, in the selection process. Interesting point. Well, what an interesting point. So um, I had that same response to the emphasis of the demonstrated experience in public artworks prior to the application of this. And for the same reasons that you gave, Robert. Um, and I, th I think that it would discourage some people because it makes it sound as though they should be so-called professional public art artists. And some people are professional public art artists, but th this is a different kind of project, it seems to me. There's partly an invitation to join in the spirit of something that doesn't necessarily require you to be a public art professional. So I have a question. What is the goal of saying that the artist needs to be experienced? What are we trying to achieve with that requirement? Well, my assumption is that we're probably lacking some kind of a mentorship like a, a person who can help somebody along in this project. And so it's, it's a, it makes it easy, our job, it makes our job easier to not need to have somebody to follow along and help this person with this project. That's my assumption of why we're asking for an experienced artist. But I do yeah, agree, Robert, I agree with that, that it, too. It seems like we really are limiting our pool. And yeah. the question is, do we have a resource that we can turn to, to help to mentor and, and help our artists or artists um, with this project, or is the, is this the reason why we're putting this in here? Well, I have a question. Is there some is some requirement that we have the artist resume in here? Isn't there somewhere? I think there is. Yes. Then in that case, why can't the jury figure out that the person is or isn't experienced and use that as a requirement for a selection criteria and not require the eliminate everybody who hasn't got a fat resume? Yeah, that makes sense to me. Yeah, um, put it into the jury's decision, you know, rather than weeding out now, I guess, like yeah. have more applicants and then let the jury weed out what they feel might be, you know. Well, this would be the criteria for reviewing all submissions. Well, my, my point is that that's a non there's a less restrictive alternative way of accomplishing the same thing that, that opens up more possibilities for review. So therefore, I don't see why we put it in at this level. I think it should be in the juror. Yeah, juror. So, so as you are reviewing resumes, what is the, you know, where would, where would the uh, your review be reflected? So these are the findings in a way that you need to find. So you know th th these app these applicants are going to give you, you know, their proposal, their application, their resume, their site plan, their narrative, um, you know, all these sorts of uh, documents, right. and then then you need to say, well, what are the, why are we receiving these? And how do we, what is the criteria in which we are reviewing them? Why and do so we in a way, when you are, so the resume is the document required. 
And these are the sorts of questions that you need to ask yourself when reading, reviewing the resume, as well as the other documents. So this is kind of just a guidance tool, but I definitely hear what you're saying. Um, and I wonder, you know, I think there is some, there is merit in this if you, if you think, if you believe that experience is, is sort of a, a safeguard, um, um, would you be um, open to the idea of um, lowering the point system for this section? Um, I would add that, you know, the planning department staff has very limited resources in, uh, in terms of um, time right. um, of um, me and the other planners are are committed on uh, in several other um, projects throughout the year. So I, I don't, I can't guarantee that, you know, planners are gonna be able to provide such like care in detail in, in sort of, this is not a collaboration with an artist. This is an artist to provide, um, you know, a, a project and design and documentation that it's actually feasible and structurally sound. So it's really um, up to the applicant um, and, and winner of, of this uh, grant proposal uh, to to um, pr to provide. Um, um, so the town is probably not going to put in a lot of time and effort that that the artist is going to be providing. I think it's more of a handcuff than a help. Robert, you had something. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think Terry's hand was up before mine. Uh, my question was only, um, Maureen, is there a way we can put this criteria on the back end, but not in the actual call so that it is more a thing that we do and, and we don't have to communicate it to the artist up front so that we therefore get a bigger pool of applicants, but it's for our own personal information when we do our judging that this person has more experience so we'll give that more, more points, but then we get to ultimately decide on who the winner of this of this project is so you know what I mean you know what I mean like can this exist on the back end instead of communicating this information yeah I guess it's a conversation with the procurement officer uh, I'm sure that uh, we can um, play around with it that that's agreeable to this board yeah um, that could not maybe not get into these particular questions but uh, maybe it's like the you know the, the, that they provided a resume and it's to your discretion of what what you find useful. Robert? Robert? Yeah, I guess I just following up on what Terry said, I, I would agree. I, I mean that it it hit me right away that, you know, in the second line, it's demonstrated experience, which someone reading that, if they don't, they're not going to continue reading. So I I, I think it would be preferable to remove that. Um, although I still question in terms of how many points are uh, being allocated to that particular aspect of, of the artist. Um, you know, it's 30% of the total. Uh, and again, I don't, you know, I, I think there are other ways in to, to discern whether someone's going to be capable of of seeing the project through and presumably in the interview process, you know, it would be made clear that this is not a, it's not a mentoring opportunity. It's, it's not uh, that people from the town are going to be uh, sort of shepherding the artist through the process. The expectation is that they're going to be able to do it. I just, I just think that um, relative to some of the other criteria, maybe it's not worth you know, 30% of the points, but still obviously an important aspect of, of the total project consideration. But again, I would definitely advocate for removing it from the introduction because I, I do think the way it's worded now, um, we're gonna lose a lot of, we're gonna lose a lot of people right off the bat. How about if it's, uh, I just uh, removed demonstrated and just so the, you know, the public art commission invites artists or a group of artists working as a team with experience i think that's you, a help honestly or in creating yeah, yeah. I, I don't yeah. i don't know if we even want to specify yeah. experience because again someone who's who's new may may turn out to be 
you know, just starting their career and this this could be their first step. So I don't yeah, know. and maybe that that section for the um the point system, maybe the numbers could just be uh, reduced. Uh, maybe they're like fives or or something. Um, so maybe we'll, we'll take down in there. I think it should be Dara. Yeah, I think Dara has written. Yeah. Thank Sorry. you. Um, so I saw on page four, uh, in number six, C, D, and E are the three spots where you talk about that experience, right. and I think that it's relevant to what you all are talking about to look at those right now, because they're very mm -hmm. specific. And they ask, does the artist have experience with commission-based work? A resume would show you that, you'd think, in some way or another. Yeah. Um, does the yeah. artist have experience with municipalities? That's such a general question that you can interpret it any way you want to. Like, you don't have to have had experience with art projects for public art projects, the way that's worded. So it's just working with municipalities. And even in the context, it should should be clear, but maybe it's not, you know. And then um, it says, it does the submitted examples of work showcase robust, relevant experience in executing projects of this nature. And that suggests that we know what the nature of the art is going to be. <laughs> and, and that we know what relevant means. And so it's hard, it's hard, those questions are hard. It's better to not have those specific questions than to have nothing. I mean, it's kind of dangerous when you're working with artists to give them so much criteria that they feel completely locked out of even having their imaginative vision. So I would, I would, I would kind of go for underplaying this, but don't, but you can't act like it's underplayed in one place and then have it be important criteria in another place. So it's like, we can't have it both ways in a way, you know? I would yeah. also add that 4B also under eligibility, it also says must have oh, yeah. some demonstrated experience with executing works of art in the public realm. So, I mean, I agree if we're going to, you know, if we're going to be consistent, then we should, um, revise that language and, and I also agree that it would be disingenuous to to minimize it in one place but then give yeah. weighting to it uh in the final selection so right okay so how well, how do you think um 4b should um be edited what is your how do you suggest changing this are, are you fine with this language or how or could if you could would it, like to see changes? What would you like? Could to it see? be preferred? Sure. Yeah, preferred sure. experience with executing works of art in the public realm. That's still going to discourage. I mean, Van Gogh painted his first piece of art, and I would have loved to have had it. I will but say, I, this, I, is, this, is a, this is a this is a you know in in terms of town town projects. This is a you know, ten thousand dollars seems like a lot of money. It it it's really not, um, and so we do want to make good use of of this opportunity, um, and and have someone you know provide a, a really great example of temporary art that could turn into a temp a a, a permanent fixture. Um, you know, you could say preferred but not required. Or what uh, if we had something to the effect of, um, like, you must be a self-starter and able to work um, unsupervised or something like that? Well, they, they are going to be working unsupervised the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is not a collaboration with the town. Uh, so, you know, the town would really want to find yes. someone that that is a go-getter, that has experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, executing and being a project manager for for public art, and I, I think that's I think that's a reasonable request. Yes, sir. Uh, well, I guess I feel like it's, not yeah. not having that language in. So if we if we take out any reference to demonstrated experience, 
or experience from this, with municipalities, et cetera. I don't think that's going to discourage people with that experience from applying. I think the absence of that language will encourage people who may not have that experience. So I, I don't think we really lose anything by not being explicit. Um, and again, in the selection process, um, all things being considered, you know, if it comes down to two artists, one of whom has all of that, and and one of whom you know still has a great idea and artistic vision, but may not have that, then you know the decision may be to go with the person who has demonstrated experience. But I, I think, in terms of casting the widest possible net for applicants. Um, my my opinion is is not to have that language because again I don't think we lose anything. I don't think an experienced artist reading this is going to say, "Well, I'm not applying because they haven't specified that they want someone with demonstrated experience." Um, right. But right. someone reading it who may just be testing the waters and and trying something new may be encouraged that not explicitly stated that one has to have a a robust resume for examples. Yes, Darren? Well, I, I agree with that. Um, I think that if you look at A, that all artists of all in all caps, backgrounds are encouraged to apply. And the next sentence says what it used to say that it no longer says. Those contradict each other in a way because you don't even know what background means. Whereas F with the equal opportunity employer statement, <clears throat> Know what that means that's explicit and very clear yeah so in a way this this might be redundant and i think it looks like it's not real because the very next sentence says yeah you have to be this background yeah yeah um, i know it's hard to try to cover everything you have to cover with something like this and lots of times calls for art are designed to exclude people because people who are asking for it want as few of applications as they can get. It's truth. Yeah. But okay. I know so you're trying to is yeah. there, I wonder is I you know, are there other parts of the document where it's clear that, you know, what I, I, I understand what you're trying to do, Maureen, is to make sure that whoever comes in either has the experience or has the, the wherewithal to get, figure out what is needed to, you know, install something from beginning to end. Yeah. And so I don't know if, you know, that's just obvious, you know, or if we need language for that, because I think that's what you're trying to say by adding in all of this, needing this type of experience. Is that, am I correct? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so do you feel that maybe we could just, you know, access, uh, you know, remove this sentence? Is that something that folks would want? And then, um, and then reduce the points for the, the rubric? I think that's the big I honestly, like the first sentence where we had all artists are encouraged to apply first and then get rid of preferred experience with ex executing works of art. That was, that would be my suggestion. How other folks just take it out all together and yeah 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 and i don't think you should all cap all it it it's like oh yeah 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 i think that looks a little bit better if that's acceptable maureen sure yeah okay so let's so so now we're turning back to right one um, nice artist yeah, that first to, sentence to is create. now a little bit off. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, to create. Oh, to create. To oh thank create. you. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Are we looking for comments for paragraph one? Yes. Yep. Artists may consider locating the temporary public art, blah, blah, blah. All right. It raises a lot of legal issues to my mind. Like, okay, they can consider it, but who gets to choose? That's number one um is there going to be do you mean more? that do they choose it or does the town choose it exactly is that what you're saying yes that's a good point that's a good point um so it's theoretic 
basically they're going to be, you know, submitting the yeah. their plan and the proposal for the, you know, w one of those parks and, you know, you would hope that they would want to maybe have rendering showing what it would look like. I think it's just the language that we're having a yeah. problem with. instead of like a consideration, it, artists may choose to locate the temporary public oh, art at either Kendrick or Spencer. Just be, yeah, just be finite about it. They don't have to consider anything. They just have to choose. Does that mean, I mean, do you want it to say choose a request? And um, it's a question. Ooh, Jim, I like this. Oh, request or choose. That uh, may may request to locate. There you go. Well, is I, you're leaving the option open for them to request to do it somewhere else then. Yeah, I would I would be more finite and say choose because they yeah, have to you know what? Good point. Yeah. That's that's yeah, that we won't get legally in trouble with that if they have two choices. And can you in the first But sentence, with the request actually it makes it so that like maybe the town decides, okay, no, actually we want this in Kendrick and not in Sweetster. You know what I mean? That's what it says. Like there, I think we actually have more wiggle room if we use request. But I mean, I don't know. Either one is, I think it'll be fine either way. I oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. But I respectfully disagree because if you put it the first way, then it raises the issue about who makes the final decision. That would need to be stipulated, or you get into a you don't want it. So, Jim, which word should it be? Choose or request? Request. Uh, look, we, you, Jim's the lawyer in the room. That's fine. Okay. Um, in the first sentence, can you put in to create an outdoor a n? There we go. Thanks. Oh, a wait, what? Yeah. To create uh, an outdoor a n. Let me just make a really quick point. The worst thing you can do is have a contract that creates a dispute. <laughs> yeah, some reason I'm having technical issues. Where do you want me to put in in? Between create and outdoor. And outdoor oh, to create in and, and. and. oh okay. and sorry and. sorry yeah. I was having no, trouble hearing you no d oh oh sorry yeah thank you sorry yeah so then you need to take off the s after works just a few words <laughs> down from that excellent thank you great thank you okay so uh section two is about the funding source and the budget and just to acknowledge that Quick, quick question in section two. Should we stipulate? Uh, I'm assuming the town is paying for the deinstallation. Should that, I maybe defer to Jim on this. Should that be stated explicitly? It should be stated who's going to, I mean, the first thing that comes to my mind is who's paying for things and who bears the risks of things and who's going to insure for things. Uh, so here it says the the artists would be responsible for insurance. Yeah. Um, and uh, the artist is responsible for all the tools and materials and fabrication, transportation and travel. And those if sorts the of artist things. is going to be responsible for the insurance, then it should also say that the artist will provide a certificate of insurance, naming the town as additional loss payee. Yeah, and I think that would be part of the contract. So I I don't think that this 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 needs to get into into those particulars. Yeah, that might be. This is. Yeah, I think we should have lot. removal in there too, though. Yeah, like. Um, yeah, I guess I was I focused said. on the deinstallation part of the. Yeah. Piece, so it was yeah. clear up front. That definitely should be agreed to because that could create a lot of dissension. All right. Um. How about? I bet, do you have, a, if an artist wants to apply and they get in touch with us and they say, do you have any information about typical cost of cons of consult engineering consultation, insurance tools, fab, you know, if, are, are we going to be able to answer that question? No, but our, our DPW can, can assist that, our town engineer. Oh, yeah. Because okay. that's kind of off-putting for somebody to think that they're basically a going to serve as a, not just the artist, but as the person who functions kind of as the overhaul contractor for all of this. Yeah, it might be better for the town to do it. Is that what you're saying? 
Well, I, I don't, if the town doesn't want to do it, the town well, is Well, the town doesn't have a structural engineer, but, uh, you know, the town will certainly provide guidance and if needed um, with these sorts of things. And, um, but the fees cost, engineers charge a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know, well, and the insurance that, costs a lot of money. Is it required to have structural engineering consultation? You know, it, it may. And so this is, this is something that, you know, whoever is reviewing this, these proposals, which the town engineer will be um, assisting with, um, you know, it's kind of an acknowledging that, you know, these proposals do really need to be feasible and structurally sound. Um, and so, um, mm. If they're not, then it's not going to work out for anyone. Um, and so, um, you know, it, if needed with a particular, I, I, I'm not saying that this is a, an absolute must that that um, that would be required, but if it came down to it, and it's very unclear whether the the, the art piece is not going to work, you know, this could be something that that, that would be needed. Well, let me ask a question about like, say that the tall wooden tree like trunks that were in Kendrick Park, was there a contract for that? Yes, yep. So did you base some of this on the contract for that? Uh, no, no, that was between, uh, I believe UMass and, and, and the town manager's office. I wonder what that contract looks like in terms of helping us answer the questions we're raising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that that is that's a really good point. Um, you know, a lot of the information that you're seeing in this document, yeah. I reached out to the New England Foundation for the Arts, uh -huh. um, where this training and, and great yeah. program um, came from. Um, and uh, they were gracious enough to share with me some of their favorite um, call to artists that were part of this program. So, you know, some some of these particulars are are, are what other towns are, you know, towns um, are, are requesting in their calls. And right. um, for calls at this rate, like $10,000? For this exact okay. um, project, yeah. yeah. Well, I think this this paragraph definitely speaks without saying it in the same way to an that a, the artist needs to have some experience and you know knows what they'll be getting into or if they don't you know these are some of the things that they should be considering because this is what's yeah. required you know what i could do is i could strike this off and you know talk to our town engineer um and just say if this is something that's absolutely needed. Okay, what um, are you striking off? Uh, the structurally engineering um, consultant fee. Like, so uh, I, yeah. I don't know if you should, because I think it makes sense that it, uh -oh. you, you don't necessarily, yeah. it's not saying that it's required. It's saying that the, the 10,000 has to cover that, that the town is not gonna cover that. So if that's required, then it would come from the 10,000, correct? Yep. Well, we could put um, this contract amount is inclusive of all possible costs associated with the project. And then that makes it so that like, you know, maybe right. not necessarily all these things might apply to you, but, but it definitely like puts the bee in the bonnet of like, okay, we are going to have like somebody that's going to be concerned about like the structural engineering of the project. What do you guys think of that? Well, I guess it's a good question, Maureen, then to ask if, if structural engineering is required. All the other things are definitely required. Sure, yeah. Just, but no, this is yeah. not a contract. Because they might be able to do that for free, right? Like the town engineer? You know, that's a good question. You know, structural engineer implies a structure. Structural engineering implies a structural engineer, and the town does not have one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you just said that. But... I will uh, talk with Jason Skills. 
So then right. when you talk to him, what happens? And then if, if he feels that this is should be a requirement, we'll keep it in. If he's saying yeah. it's it, it might be a, a safe to fail thing to list, this is just sort of a poo-poo platter of what, what could be required. Um, so that the artist up front knows what they're getting themselves into. A lot. This puts a lot of risk. If I were an artist, this would scare me. I'd have to really want that $10,000 really bad. I think you'd have to really want to do this project really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The money's not the, you know. Uh, well, for people who are making a living from their art, the, the money does count. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you feel, uh, how do folks feel about me um, talking with the town engineer? And, you know, if he thinks that it, it really should be in here, then it'll be left in. And if he says, ah, eh, yeah, it'll be yeah fine I feel like our it's, staff can I handle. feel like we can trust in, in his expertise and in your expertise. Well, I like Jason a lot, but think about what his point of view is. He's an engineer. He's not an artist. He's not a person that makes his living by selling art. He's not going to think about Dara's point, probably. Well, I, I do think it's important for you to list everything that honestly they will be required to be responsible for. No matter what the upshot about that, all that is from, say, my point of view, it doesn't my point of view doesn't matter. It matters if, if the town wants this to be stated. That's what it's going to be stated, I guess. Is it really even an argument? No, but um, maybe we should think about whether, I mean, I think the point that it could scare off people is really um, profound. Well, like, for instance, I don't know what them paying for community meetings means. I don't either. I don't know either. And, and in terms of, uh, we could definitely, we could we could delete that because so when I when I when I put that in because this was again lifted off of other communities um, that are participating in this program um, I thought what would they be paying for because it would either be on Zoom or it would be somewhere it would be in a physically in a uh, you know town in the town hall where every it's free to you know. I, I, I'm, I am worried about our time because we're already like 48 <laughs> minutes into our meeting and we're only on like number two. <laughs> That's a good point. Right. And it spooks me because like I'm, I, I feel like we're going to fade out before we get to like the like big things if we're, if we're like worrying about all the little things. And I feel like if, you know, if we can rely on the expertise that's in the town hall for things, I feel like we should trust in that. How do you guys feel about that? I think this uh, probably needs another draft. Much as I hate to say it, because I mean, I don't think this is a little thing. I think this is gonna, I think this is a big thing. Not that I, I, I would like to agree with you, let me say, but I'm thinking about it as an artist and I'm looking at this thing. It says, oh my God, I have no idea what I'm getting into. I guess I'll pass. And then you put in all this work to try to have a, um, a project and it fails because of the way the call for art is drafted, which I hope it wouldn't, but let's just take that as a possibility. Now, how is anybody gonna feel about that? So, I mean, Jason's skills, I, I think the guy's terrific and I'm impressed with him personally and as an engineer, that's where his skills are. We're supposed to be giving advice about the art part. And well, part the art part is how is this call for art going to affect the artists? But I would say a public public art has to be safe for the public. I agree, but you so know, that maybe. does require a lot of what's in that paragraph number two. Right, or maybe the yeah. town should, maybe the town should decide if it if it wants to pick up some of the unknowns that are within the ability of the town easily to handle and then pare it down. That's, I guess, what my point is. Yeah. Well, that's why I think it should have like possible costs or may include and then have like this big list of stuff. 
and then well, I don't know why are we putting this in here why don't we put it in the contract where they won't see it in the call for art well you could at least reorganize it like project parameters could come second instead of the budget for instance because yeah. that, that's yeah. more directly about the what result people are looking for you know so i mean you can reorder it and put the stuff like put the budget and the project rules you know later i mean it's all important so yeah, I think um, we will need the artists to submit their budget with their proposal so that we yeah. can see that they're organized enough to like get the yeah. project done. Yeah, but it, that doesn't have to come second in the at the top of the document. All right. Well, yeah, if I could add something to what Darius just saying, because it's actually repetitive. If you look at um, yep. three three e. Uh, the, the same statement exists regarding the budget so maybe that's the more appropriate place for it and number oh, yeah. two could just number two could just be the funding source true that's good well let, let's look yeah, at this I agree with that the budget it is oh thank you that is redundant yeah that's great it's redundancy is one of my best things so I, I <laughs> okay so we'll, we made this document a little shorter yay which is always nice yeah it's really good it's so long you know it is i know i know well i was trying to be really thorough these other I towns you, are. That are, in this you are thorough we appreciate well, it the, the <laughs> other towns that um that that i i looked at for these call for artists through this program there are they actually are very thorough and they get into all these particulars yeah. Do they get into these particulars in the call or in the yes. project? Yes, that's what. Whole? Yeah, okay. that's what I've been referring to. Are they so getting? I, a lot I understand. Of yeah, no. I, I, so it's a balance. Um, but well, yeah. Well, let's keep on working. Um, so uh, it's so good that you put so much into it because it, it, otherwise we wouldn't know what to talk about. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, this was uh, um, this is just. Uh, uh, four months minimum four months uh, I guess in my mind that sort of represents maybe part of a season or a season uh, very you know very open-ended of what month that is but I thought that was a good safe uh, mm -hmm. amount of minimum in case mm -hmm. in case yeah. that needs to go get out sooner than later but you know it could be there for but it doesn't say the maximum right so that kind of keeps yeah. it nice and open to 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 having it um there for yeah. for a longer time and then the project theme so in today's email um uh, i i i uh, did reach out to pamela young and and she was happy with this language as shown or it uh, i know that folks had talked about promoting how the project theme could be about promoting cultural diversity um and um did you guys have any other thoughts or or how would you like to handle that, Robert? Do you well, that? actually, my comment is not really about the theme. Although my one sort of cosmetic suggestion would be um, uh, the project theme is to celebrate, I would say, BIPOC. I'm not sure the is needed. And then I would just put in parentheses Black, Indigenous, and people of color as opposed to BIPOC stands for Black, yeah. Indigenous, people of color. Yeah. So um, which, what would you like to say, sorry? uh is to celebrate BIPOC after BIPOC in the first sentence I would just put parenthetically black indigenous and people of color oh, okay yeah. after, after BIPOC yeah. in the first sentence right after, right after the word that way it's oh got it yep that. yeah you know people of color should be at, uh also too. yeah yeah um but my We should probably capitalize black and people, black and yeah. people of color. Black yeah. People of color should all be that way. So oh, black and then people yeah. of color. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. But I had a question about parameters because in the um, in the scoring sheet under number one general, uh, 
1B refers to, is the proposed artwork interactive in some way? And if the answer is no, then uh, the response is strongly considered disqualifying the applicant. Yeah. But that's the, that's the only place that interactivity is mentioned. So mm -hmm. if, if that is such a significant aspect, I think we better highlight it in the parameters somehow. So that's you know, to more, be, more transparent. Yeah. Uh, to be honest, I don't know how what I think of this. One B is the. Proposal. I don't either. Me either. Yeah. Do you guys want to scrap it? Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm fine. It doesn't really. Yeah. It's not necessary. One B. May I ask where? Uh, under the uh, appendix A. Oh. Artists yeah. on the score sheet. Okay. Scrap. Okay. The, the other two are important, you know, if, if the answer is no, then we'll strongly consider disqualifying, obviously. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good. Okay, so, yeah. uh, where were we? What, uh, let's back, see. back to the theme, I have, a, I have a question. Just so I make sure I didn't miss any, I'm fine with the theme, but I thought at the last meeting, we said it wasn't going to be limited. And I'm fine with this theme. I just wondered, did I miss some commu correspondence or communication? I mean, I remember at the last meeting, it mm. was there was some group that had met in the summer and and recommended not to limit it. Oh yeah, right. Did I miss something? Yeah. Yeah, I I feel like um, it just kind of kept going in the way of the the theme. Who suggested it? Like who they, suggested it? Yeah. And it just kind of stuck in there. Yeah, this was a suggestion of uh, I, uh, to uh, the DEI director. Mm -hmm. I, I uh, reached out to her to um, review the call to artists, and she thought it. She said, "Oh, in general, I really like it." She's. She said, "My only suggestion was the project theme be this," um, and and that was uh, sh um, she had uh, um, over the summer there was. Um, BIPOC um, youth groups that met, and I guess this was a a, a sort of a, a question that was asked: um, Do you do you feel represented in town, um, and with art? And then they said, No, we don't. Mm. And um, since then, she said, actually, I talked to her about it again today um, when she looked at this again, and she said, You know, well, you know, it, it's unfortunate that that um you, you know some people do feel that way um but she said that you know since she started working here there are public art um, pieces um in town that do uh embrace and celebrate bipoc uh, members such as the um the mural um adjacent to the west cemetery is one um and you know the the, the civil yeah. war tablet um that is on display um and you know perhaps there's others so um, she did, you know, say that, you know, if, if, if she's fine with, um, uh, wh whatever you choose, um, and, and she also did extend her invitation, um, and, um, uh, extended, um, her help if, if, if this committee ever wants to reach out to her office about, um, uh, uh with, a this project in the future or, or another one, um, and, 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 uh, uh about how to, be inclusive with community engagement for public art projects. And if you wanted to do this theme in the future, so if you, if you don't want to do this project theme today with this project, she did, you know, encourage um, this commission to consider um, something like this in the future. I think that um, we hadn't actually agreed in, uh, entirely, Lori, but we talked about it. And I think um, a more inclusive theme we talked about was something like the project theme is to celebrate community in all of its color and diversity. Um, I think that's what we had kind of talked about and now it's been kind of narrowed to celebrate BIPOC. So um, if we, if we're, it depends on how we feel as a, as a commission, you know, do we want to specifically say celebrate BIPOC or do we want to say celebrate community um, inclusive? I don't know how to put inclusive language in that includes everybody. Um, or if you want to narrow into BIPOC. And I think that's probably a decision of this of this commission. Yeah. So I'm not I, sure we had reached I'm, that decision. I think we had, were talking about it still. 
Thanks. Maybe a healthy yeah. medium would, uh, this is just thinking out loud, is so the the town of Amherst just created this office of diversity, equity, inclusion. How about if the project theme is to celebrate diversity, equity, and, and inclusion? Yeah. It's yeah. very open-ended. It's much Ooh. more open-ended. Yeah, I like that a lot. Cause like, I, I have been struggling with this cause like I, I, I just like have this vision of, you know, like say a black artist comes in and, and it's like, who are we to say that like their art isn't like black enough? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like and that's you a know, very this... crude way of putting it, but that I don't know how else to like get my, that, that feeling out of me, but and it's like, I, I worry about that. And I don't want to like pigeonhole somebody into like, you know, because you're, you're of a certain person, you have to have art that's like stereotyped. Yeah. And you know what, it, it, it's nice and reflective to, um, hold on one second. Let me find that. Yep. So this. we're going to say the project is to celebrate diversity, community and inclusion. Equity. Yep. Equity. community yep. inclusion yeah Tell me, i'm trying to get in the minutes what exactly are we saying uh diverse uh the project theme is to celebrate diversity equity and inclusion equity. yeah and it and that being inclusive of everyone and so we're not just talking about race uh you know um we're talking about gender and gender uh okay. identity um um you know, marital status, um, Any. <laughs> um, the list goes on, disabilities, um, all ages, all backgrounds. So yeah, I think it's wonderful. You want to so, say something like the project theme is to celebrate the diversity, equity, and inclusion of Amherst or some, <laughs> some will make it more local. <laughs> uh -oh. yeah. I'm not really sure how to do that though. Of uh, everyone in Amherst. I, I think, yeah, sure. Yeah, it, I think either, I don't think there's a bad answer or wrong answer of Amherst. I think it's fine just like it is. I think without Amherst. It's okay. All, yeah, okay. it's all fine. Yeah. Anyway. It'll, it, it might it be fits understood. It's on one and... line as it is now, so it makes yeah. it the document look shorter. Good thinking, Shoshana. Uh, so, project location. Um, so this just you know explains that it could either be at Kendrick Park or Sweet Park. Proposals. Okay, it works. Yeah, okay. okay. It implies that the artist is going to get to pick the location. Is that what we were doing? That was in another section. Yeah, no, uh, but it's still, it, it, we're doing it again, and I just want to make sure that's what we mean to do. How about you have proposal that may be located at either Kendrick or Sweetser? Well, this one says well, you know what it could say the the town of Amherst uh the the uh what is it the art jury and the town of Amherst will make final approval of its exact location uh, park location and yeah yeah something like that some kind of thingy in there about you know final final decision lays with the town yeah okay the town of Amherst okay then I think it should be an application proposed to be located then it should say the town will make the final decision as to location. Artists may propose, town decides. That's what we're saying, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And you know, we could even shorten this slightly because I don't know why to say the the artist team may submit an application proposal to be located or shall submit, uh, uh, may submit an application proposal to be located at Kendrick or Sweetser, which are both located in the heart of downtown. Yeah, shall downtown. might be even better there. But... Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. Okay. So so just to ask one more, one more question about C, in the score sheet number 3B, it mentions, has the artist considered the site they're proposing and how it fits with or connects to their proposed artwork? Does that in any way relate to 
what was just decided about who decides. Uh, can you um, can you uh, indicate wh where where you page were seven reading? page seven three B yeah three B you just oh, you just passed it. Oh, thank you yep yeah. yep has the artist considered the site they are proposing and how it fits with or connects to their I mean, proposed artwork or well, makes know why we care that seems parallel if it well, had, yeah i'm just asking you know though i uh i have talked to gabrielle gould about this project um and I, i've been meaning to actually reach back out to her you know one thing that does need to be considered about this is that both parks do have uh, outdoor events. Like Sweetser Park has the the like summer music series, right. and so yeah. one thing that does need to be considered, and it's like, is it on the artist or the town? But like, we wouldn't want to have like a sculpture right smack in the middle where everyone would be sitting for seeing a concert, and just and then like other item of like. Um, and so I think it is going to be important to understand what kind of events take place at both these parks yeah, and, um, and how does it fit in with the park itself in terms of walkways and trees and its visibility. Um, oh, yeah. they have, you you want them to do a site specific piece of yeah. art. Mm -hmm. I think that's, yeah, it's important to keep in there, I think. But I was just wondering if it contradicted in some way that the town has the final say. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Well, it's just kind of, you know, it yeah, might be just sort of a protection. It might not be needed here, to be no, honest. I feel like it's okay. I was just asking. I mean, yeah. You can look at the project and tell. I mean, the thing is the way it's worded. It says, have you considered? Artist says, yes, they get full credit, but they didn't <laughs> do a good job of considering it. <laughs> So yeah, I, so you know, we could uh, have this or not. What do folks think? I say not. And, not and okay. Judge it, you know, separately. Right. Yeah. Okay. And you know, I think the contract will ultimately yeah. get into details like that. Right. Okay. Well, so, I, know, I know lawyers are going to look at this thing and they write the contract accordingly. Okay. So D art, medium, materials, maintenance, and durability. Which which number is this, please? Uh, hmm. oh, three D. Three B. Three D or not? D D as in dog. Oh, three D. Three D. Oh, like the movies. Okay, not, so what yeah. Was, yeah. so what are we taking out? I don't. Yeah. See oh, it. and um, here's um this last sentence. I spoke to Guilford Mooring, the DPW director about this project he's very he's supportive of the project and he said that dpw staff can um, help with the installation and that they can uh, pour a, a concrete pad and he did say that it would be helpful to indicate the size and he said you know that's twofold that they could commit to a four by four concrete foot pad for paying and for for paying for the materials and the labor and for installing it. Also, he said that it would help sort of um, narrow down the the scale of this. Yeah. Uh, and that might be helpful for the artist as well. Should it say up to four by four concrete foot pad? Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to, I'm looking, I'm looking at my tiles on my floor. Every tile is a foot long. One. And so the DPW will be in charge of actually providing the concrete foot pad, right? Yeah. And not the artist? Not the artist. One, two. Okay, so maybe three. put in provided by the town too, so that they understand that. Yeah. We're talking, uh, about, this three, we're talking about 3D, third paragraph now. Yeah. Okay. Um, this will be attached by. Uh, I think what Shoshona said about up to four by four, if that's really their limit. What? No, I, I think I'm looking at four by four is not that big. So oh. um, I, I think, I think, and also I, I think that the, D, you know, the DPW would be, could negotiate if it's four feet or, you know, five feet. 
Um, but this gives uh, this gives this gives the artist a frame of reference. You want to put approximately in there for a foot? Yeah, spectrum. there you go. Yeah, yeah thank you. Uh, for, Does that work? Yes. Yeah. It's 909 and we have 11 pages. <laughs> so what do you think about the idea of getting a subcommittee, just a couple of people to go through this again and, and, and then maybe have a meeting in like maybe a week? I, I, for one, would like to get this out as soon as we can. So a week from now seems like a, a long time. Yeah. Well, we're going to be here. Going? We huh? were going to be here past midnight. Well, it's seven, seven o'clock right it's now. Only seven. We're not that far away from the end. Well, we got two pages done in an hour. It's a little. Well, we'll, we'll get faster. Watch us get faster. Okay. <laughs> Okay. So, so e uh so do you have any com other comments about um this section on art medium materials no nope. maintenance or durability? Um, did you want to say provided by the town of Amherst? Sure. Where is it? The selected temporary public art will be attached to a concrete foot pad provided by the town oh, I provided see. by the town of Amherst. Yeah, thanks. There you go. Or their materials will be provided by. Well, the installation, they're going to put it in. The artist doesn't have to put it in. Yeah, that's good. I like that. All right. Well, does the artist have to put the concrete pad in? I don't think it implies that necessarily. I don't okay. think it's a good idea. I mean, we don't want that, do we? No. Okay. okay. Yeah, that works. That's better. Yeah. Okay, and then we already went through the budget, didn't we? Because we look at us. We're okay. We're going fast. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me see. Okay. Here we go. This project is open to artists and, oh, Robert. A uh, quick comment on F, uh, practicing, the word practicing artists uh, in the first sentence, uh, consistent with what we've talked about earlier uh, in terms of de-emphasizing experience. I'm wondering. Yeah. You know. Okay, one second. So uh, remove practicing. Yeah. Yeah, that would be my. Proposal. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, I have a question, real quick question about the paragraph we were just on. The town, it says, um, is committed to building a public art collection. If it's temporary, how is that part of a collection? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you take Good pictures point. of it. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you can reword that so it doesn't seem to contradict that. Yeah, you just get rid of promoting, collection. Promoting, promoting. It's, uh, it's committed to, uh, to build to building public art that represents artists. Just get rid of promote collection. public art that. And, and can we speak for the town of Amherst, or should that say the public art commission or the art jury or something like that? I, I'm asking. Or, or you'd say both, the Town of Amherst and the Public Art Commission. But we're not the select board, so that's what's concerning me about. You know, okay. uh, no, I, I, I have, you know, the, I have, um, I've spoken to staff and they're, they're fine with, with the town. Um, the town does promote uh, public art okay. that, you know, represents um, these, these yeah. uh, various groups. Let's yeah. Start. And again, the 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 procurement officer and the town manager will be 
reviewing this and providing, you know, ultimate, you know, approval of this. So uh, I, I will say, yeah, so um, this, this, we are not the only eyes on, on this. Okay. Robert? Uh, Maureen, that second paragraph, the artwork will be on display. I feel like that information has been stated elsewhere uh, right. in three in three yeah, a right. and yeah. then we just had the, the mention of the, yeah, yeah 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 thank you oops yep okay <laughs> perfect okay eligibility we yep. kind we, we looked at that already yep. mm -hmm. yeah we went over that yep and then I, I will play around this shouldn't say employment um, right so I'll yeah that. and uh, I just put the link in just so I wouldn't forget where I found this and so right. I'm gonna I'll delete that at some point. Um, artist selection process, artists select, select themselves for considering, wait, what? No, that's not, that's not right. Yeah, I don't know why, sorry. Submit. Applications. Submit applications, sorry. No. I don't there you know. go. Um, shall submit. Great. Shall artists, right. shall submit applications. Yeah, yeah. Um, it. Um, I. I'm, we just need to get a um a link, um, from it. Yeah. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and all artists are going to be notified about the status of their applications. Yes. Yep. All right. And that should be easy because if they're submitting everything online, we'll have their email address. And phone numbers yeah. and, 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 and okay. whatnot. Okay, uh, project criteria, review criteria. Project uh, review. No, on the on three at the end, you, you we probably should say, in fact, we definitely should say who's to decide how long it's going to stay there. Right now, it just says a minimum of four months. Yeah, because we don't know how long, long it's going to be. Yeah, yeah we, it doesn't say who decides how long it's going to be. Mm, maybe uh, it would be the town manager. The town That's manager is uh, the is is has the control of all um, of all uh, town parks. So, um, so he would have the ultimate. So yeah, that there you go. Um, where do I say that about the four months? Um, on page three. This... I would say at the beginning, the the first time you mentioned four months, or yeah. Okay. Um, Every time you mention it, or at least, yeah, well, on page three, it says artwork will be on display for a minimum of four months. It could go there. And then oh. if it says it anywhere else, it should say as determined by the town manager. That's all you need to do. Um, yeah. Four yeah, months okay. or as determined by the town manager. Yeah, that, that does it. As determined by the town manager. Good. Good call. Good find. Okay. Now we now I have to find where we were. Hold on. <laughs> Um, so, yeah. I think we were at design criteria. Number six. Um, three criteria. Oh, let's see here. Oh yeah, there we go. Yep. Is that where we are? No, we were beyond that. Beyond that. So, sorry, my page numbers have changed because I'm like editing it. Um, yeah, number six. We were uh, starting. Um, well, again, I thought I thought we had uh, removed sort of C, D, and E uh, pursuant to our previous discussion about the experience question. We did earlier. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And maybe the in A of this section, maybe are all of the required materials present? Uh, oh. Maybe it should say application materials because materials is used in talking about what the artwork's gonna be made of too. So so I think you just delete are all of the required materials present because it says is the application. It's complete, yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, is the application complete? That's enough. I 
I think it should also have, this would be a good spot to put in that, uh oh, my battery's running though. Um, oh boy. This would be a good spot to put in something about like nothing, um, like this doesn't violate trademarks or copyrights. Hmm. Oh, oh, no infringements of any third parties intellectual property rights. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Is that a law? Oh, uh, well, it's a problem that we ran into with the electrical box one. There okay, was so one that was just like, it was immediately off the table because- Well, maybe we that had, should be a, a parameter. Was Wasn't that, um, and you, so that would just be um, to sort of baseline like, um, param uh, or maybe not, well, well, I don't care where you put it. If you just put what that, no project. Yeah, so what do you, no, um, uh, no project no. may infringe any third party's intellectual property rights. No project, project shall in, uh, no, uh, no project shall infringe. Any third party's apostrophe intellectual property rights. All right, if I drop out of here because of low battery on my computer, I'll have to come in on my phone and I'm not entirely sure how good that will be. So Shauna, aren't you um, running it right now? Uh, well, I made Maureen co-host, so. Okay, then you're fine. So I think she'll, she would wind up being like a okay. co-host. So, Maureen, you wanna put third parties? Oh, I can't see that. Instead of thirds? Why can't I see that? The third parties. Yeah, oh, well. intellectual property rights. All right. Got yeah, it. it's Thank good you. that we have that in there somewhere. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, um, oh, yeah, so Craig. Uh, you live near me. One, you know, just I can't. We're going to lose our form. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Oh, we still have it. Uh, yeah, I'll come in when I when this. I'm at nine percent right now. When oh I boy. drop out, I'll come back in on my phone. What's the quorum? Why don't you just go do that now, Tashana? Yeah. We can we can uh, take a, a minute break. Okay. I'll go get some to drink. Yeah, yeah. Well, I might, may, let me see if I can just um, seamlessly go through without even interrupting anything. Okay. okay. Does anyone have any? Uh, I'll scroll down to now seven required submission. Uh, I just had a couple of quick things on. Um, just H and I, I think it, I, I think, uh, how well does, does thank that's you. why the dues are underlined there. And then in, um, wait, wait, one H, but stay on H. And I don't think it's okay to say and general personal style. We can just say and style. Sorry, yeah, what paragraph, what paragraph yeah, are we on? I, yeah, I, that makes sense. Yeah, sorry. Can you please? I don't. I don't have the screen share, so you tell me what. That's number seven, Jim. Uh, Thank you. Seven. Or I'm sorry. Uh, six, that's that's seven? six. Six. Sorry. Six. H. Six H. On page four. And what are we doing with six H and I? Uh, we got rid of. Um, her, oh, I'll general go back in time. Personal. Hold on a second. It, uh, we we're going to get rid of general personal. Um, the those words. <laughs> Uh, six H. How well does the artist presented artwork design and get rid of general personal style mm -hmm. align with the overall goals of this project? Get rid of that comma. I don't know Thank what you. are you reading. I don't see anything like that on my age. Oh, well, you know, yeah. Well, maybe yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. different yeah. number. You might be on the wrong age. Uh, it was for so number section six is project review criteria. 
and okay. then um and then we went to h how how well does the artist present did artwork design and personal stuff personal uh, style align with the overall goals of this project we got rid of uh personal uh, jim look at look at 6k because i think because of the edits that were done it, oh it became, it became h it. On, the, on the screen sorry yeah you're right I, for, you. I forgot sorry oh that's that's what it's all right. fluid thank you <laughs> okay so we're getting rid of k right yeah sorry about that fine Okay, so we were all worried about the structural integrity thing, but it's in number, it's in letter G or section G. It was in J, right? What's wrong with that? Well, this is not specifying, you know, who's paying for it, but it, the town will require that 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 this that the proposal is feasible and structurally sound. Mm -hmm. This seems so unarguable to me. <laughs> so let's, uh, if you don't have any more comments on uh, section six, let's move on to section seven. Yeah. The required submission materials include a statement of interest for this specific commission, including why the project resonates with you, a thorough written description of the piece of temporary public art you are envisioning that includes materials, look and feel, size, info about interact about elements. I don't know. I don't know what interactive means. Elements and a brief overview of installation needs and requirements. The part the uh, please. You know, maybe to say, please, please indicate the park in which you would like to install your work and, and why, um, Kendra. Well, so, um, yeah, yeah. I leave out the word thorough before written in number two. Um, number two, thorough. Okay, thank you. you don't need that. And a a written. Yep. Okay, thanks. Um, a brief artist biography statement um, or, or cover letter. What's the, at, what's the difference between that and the CV? Is, it, um, is a CV another uh, cover? Is a, I think that biography is often a statement um, in, in a paragraph form and a CV is more like, you know, every exhibition you've been in, your resume. Okay. And then... Um, Something we were gonna. Oh, we were gonna get rid. Weren't we gonna get rid of the past relevant experience? Uh, well, they should should still put in their resume slash CV. I think. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, sure. it would be a good idea for us to see like their body of work and yeah you know, what they're about. No, I take it back. For so, do you guys on, on that, don't want I, this? I, I, you might no, just leave that in. Of the park. Leave it. Wait, it's it says complied, and you mean should compiled? I think it should be. Oh, thank you. Sorry, just leave it out. Thank you. And then the proposal design includes site plan, elevation plans, uh, specification sheets. Okay. And they might say just like uh, yeah, yeah. I think that's good enough. And then how do you submit your application materials to the link to be provided? Um, and then um, okay. application deadline. Um, I think uh, we talked about maybe two months out from when um, I feel like this time we can't really say what the deadline is until we know when we're going to release it. So I don't know if it's going to be like this week, next week or in, in a, you right. know. Okay. So, so maybe we will just say, just so we all are on agree in agreement. Uh, do you think that, you know, a month and a half or two months from the date that it's. I think two months. Two I'll months. say two months. Two months. 
from yeah. when yeah. the call is um, released is uh, two uh, months from the deadline. I just uh -huh. yeah. Um, and then I still want to reserve that, like having like the secret extension, like that we announce on oh, yeah. the day, um, the deadline. Yeah. What are we reserving? <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, that's just a, a note for us include secret extension, um, of, <laughs> and then just to say that, that we don't know, I feel like maybe we don't know how long we want to extend it. And we don't have to decide until that very moment. So it could be one week or two weeks. Why don't you, guess, instead of secret, why don't you say flexible? Yeah. Well, uh, well, well it's just a no. It's not going to be. It's it's not, no one's going to yeah. read this other than us. <laughs> and then decide according to how many um, applications we get. If we don't get like very many, maybe a longer extension. If okay. we get a lot, a short extension. Yep. Okay. So nine art jury. Um, Robert, has a question. Uh, this doesn't have to be decided now or stated, but uh, maybe in a subsequent meeting, I'm just curious as to the process of selection in terms of the two members of the jury from this commission and then how the members of the public are chosen. But again, that that's a conversation, but I, I would be interested to, to hear what, Me too. what's involved in that process. Yeah, I'll put that on the agenda for next time. That's a good uh, that I yeah, think that was the question I wrote before we started. So thank you, Robert. Yeah, so uh, you know what's shown here is two public art committee members, one representative from the Amherst Cultural District, one representative from the Amherst Business Improvement District, two members of the public and town staff, including representatives from the planning department, the DPW, the DEI office uh, facilities department, and additional representation from the, uh, the Disability Access Advisory Committee and the Design Review Board. Wow, that's a lot. And this doesn't mean that the, uh, that the DAAC and the DRB would be on the art jury, but they, um, they may want to uh, review it at their meetings and provide uh, recommendations to the art jury. But it's not clear from that language. That's what clear. it means. Yeah. It's the way I'm reading it, they're on the committee. So do we want to say uh, they would be uh, advising the committee, perhaps? Advising the committee, I think. Or making recommendations to the committee. Yeah, mm -hmm. We like could also right. put Art jury may consist of, and then put like this giant long list of people. Well, how, what's the total number are you aiming for? I don't know. Yeah, let's just, I, I kind of sometimes think in bullets. Hold on one second. We got <laughs> two. And the, okay, and the DEI, the, oh, the DAAC and DRB and advisory. Capacity only. No, oh, that's not helpful. That's helpful. <laughs> Thanks, Maureen. Okay, so we get two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten people, ten um, representatives from this committee, from the cultural district, the bid, members of the public, and town staff. And then I think there should be language that says, um, you know, um, the, the art jury may, you know, may wish, may wish to seek. Or just uh, may seek, you don't need may wish to. May seek, um, comments from the regarding the regarding the proposals yeah see comments from who from the disability access advisory committee okay fine in the design review board because okay. of the design review board you know they're they, they have a lot of experience with and they are um uh majority of them are um professional architects and they have I attend their meetings 
they have a phenomenal wealth of knowledge about all things design um, from lettering to signage to 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 um, art and and how how these um, sorts of things actually um, are um, how they're structurally sound and how they fit into the context around them and then the disability access advisory committee I, I attend their meetings as well and they're a wealth of knowledge as well and um, have a unique um, perspective of of looking at all things within the public uh, public realm um, and uh, regarding disability laws um, so it would it would be really um, I think uh, useful to get comments from both of these boards we yeah, think I agree okay and then so 10 the project commissioning creation process um, the selected art team may invoice the town for payment upon each of the following three interim deliverables. This was a recommendation um, from the New England Foundation for the Arts. I shared with them our draft copy, and they thought it would be nice to, you know, give the artists, um, you know, payment whenever, whenever possible, so they don't have to wait till the very end. Payment in the amount of what? Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, so the first um, interim deliverable would be approved final plan, design, uh, production plan, and budget. The second payment would be upon fabrication, um, dress rehearsal, and needs to go away. Oh, yeah, that needs to go away too. Wait, hold on a second. And production plan and budget. Then me, please. Um, and fabrication. And then the third would be um, the installation. It's an important point that you do not say how much the invoice may be for. Yeah, I was going to raise that question too. It's not clear from this if someone could submit an invoice upon final design and budget for 100% of the project at that time. Uh, so there might want to be some thought given to are we, you know, is it going to be? 33% each time, or, you know, what, just what's the allocation of the payments? Yeah, um, you know, before I say anything, let's go back to the required submission materials and say itemized budget. So that shall help guide the, the artist to know um, how much to, um, budget this out for, but that doesn't that doesn't necessarily answer your question. Um, hmm. You right. get, if you want to get into a major argument, leaving this open is a great way to do it. Right, and also we might want to specify, and I, I guess I would defer to the finance people in town. You know, are they they're going to require receipts in addition? Oh yeah, to, yeah, in, yeah. In so addition to the invoice. All, yeah, so yeah. That might want to you might want to spell that out a bit more explicitly. So. Uh, okay, and uh, wait, hold on a second. I can just write a note, um, and that can our finance Maybe they department. Have some can, yeah, they'll they'll provide to, exact yeah. language. Um, get um, I'll just say um, um, add text about uh, um, requirements Requires. such as payment yeah, terms. Payment terms. Oops, sorry about payment about such as payment terms. Um, I'm gonna, just for my own benefit, I'm gonna go IE receipts. Just so I can jog my memory on this. Okay, so, all right. And then uh, 11 is the full timeline. Um, these dates are subject to change, right. but you know, right. Um, so we'll we'll figure this out. Um, so we'll do the announce the call the the call the open call for artists with a press release and social media channels. Uh, we can hold a workshop. Uh, we can. Yep. Sorry. Should it say a little more about what the work workshop uh, facilitated by who's the, who's going to do that? Uh, so that would be up. You know, up to this commission, if you would like to hold a workshop to sort of, and you know, me or, or uh, the other planning staff can help. Um, then put hold. workshop. Facility. You know what? Or or you know, we could get rid of that. You know, later down, I say if you have any questions, 
you okay. can call me. That I think that just due to actually um, staff resources, I don't know if we can commit to that. Okay. Unfortunately. Oh, B. Sorry, it just deleted B. So there's a new B. Um, B. Um, I really think taking the word secret out of documents like this is a good idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. We'll just yeah. we'll get rid of it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And then um, March, roughly, we'll select the art. The selected artist is announced, you know, roughly between March and July, fabrication of public art piece and contracting um, with the artist. Is Maybe you want to put contracting first and fabrication after. Okay. Yep. R Robert? Uh, when you get to E, I have a question. E, monthly check-in with planner or art. Jury. probably not art jury probably just planner what do you, yeah well, that's, that, that was my question so basically our and i assume the planner means you so are, are you are essentially functioning as the project manager for this is that a correct yeah assumption? yeah yeah a, a, a plan you know the, yes i i can uh, i'll be serving that role can you call yourself that um well um I would, you know, I, I would. Let's get on. Sure, yeah, now. project manager. Uh, let me just uh, let me talk to my superior, uh, my supervisor. But I'll just say project manager, well, and then we we can yeah. uh, figure out yeah. the exact um, language here. Planner by itself sounds a little esoteric. Yeah, yeah. it's like what is a planner? Yeah, no, I hear you. So um, and then you. July to September, artwork is installed. September, October, public unveiling and cel and community celebration. And then um, this is the disclosure statements. And um, I will say that this uh, will be reviewed um, okay. th thoroughly by our, um, you know, our fi finance department. So, and then questions, they can call me or um, e send me an email. And then this is the public art committee mission and core value statement. And then I decided to have, keep um, leave this statement about that that link to um, existing public art, even though it's not up up to date. But I think it's it's useful to to look at. Okay. Um, and then Appendix A. Hold on a second. Oops. Mm -hmm. Artist score sheet. What are we on? Appendix A. Oh, can we back up, please? There's a statement in here from 30, chap, chap, Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 30B, Section 2. Why is that there? Marie? Yep. I don't think it belongs there because it's confusing. I don't, but if there's a reason, please tell me. Yeah, I, I, I took this disclosure statement from a, a different town uh, that's, that has a that is going through this program, and um, this will be reviewed by our finance direct uh, department. So um, it's it's gonna it's gonna make the artist eyes twirl around because just I mean I'm a lawyer I don't know why it's there. All right, yeah. I, to be honest, I I really don't have a rebuttal. I I don't. But do you mind if I um, ask talk to no. our finance department about this? No, I mean, but I mean, it's exempt. It's exempt. I don't know what needs to be in here. Is my point? It is. I mean, we can't change what thirty B says. Sure. And, so you're suggesting that this be deleted. All right. Well, let me that, just, uh, to be honest, let me just talk to our finance direct department sure. and and see what they say. Yeah, that sounds reasonable to delete it. I I I just I, I don't. I'm not an expert in in this particular stuff. Yeah, got it. Okay, attached is a town of Amherst contract with insurance requirements. Whose insurance requirements? The town. So does the town have, why does, is this certificate of insurance will be required? Does this mean, is this saying that the artist has to have insurance? Yes. Well, I So the branches, or uh, I don't know what the real name is. Um, that was a, a good example. The town manager's um, office you know, requ required. 
it, it's not clear who's providing the insurance and who's the requirements of, of. So if all you need to do is say with with contract with insurance climate requirements of the artist, and then you're all set or of the artist's insurance requirements. No, that doesn't work. Up just a hair. It's really I, with my bar of stuff on the bottom that I can't seem to get rid of. It's I can't read much of that. How about if attached to the town of Amherst contract with insurance requirements, which will be executed by the artist? I don't think that does Either it. By the artist. Ah, okay. By the yeah. artist apostrophe S insurance requirements. How's that? All you need is artist apostrophe S uh, uh, between with and insurance requirements. Oops. Yep. I think I got it. Okay. Attaches the town of Aramers contract with the artist insurance. That works. Yeah, which will be actually good. Okay, the certificate of insurance. Okay, um, okay. and then yeah, actually here. Oh, I found a redundant one. Uh, there's like a <laughs> sentence about who funded this, and that was already stated. Yep. Okay, and then yeah, questions. I already said that, and then. Did we, I feel like we, did we go in the middle? Would, um, I feel like we were somewhere else. Sorry, sorry, weren't we? We were about to start the um, jury sheet. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, I don't know how we got. Okay, so. Art of the sheet. Oops. Did we talk about uh, one on the appendix A? Okay, so yeah, we did. Is the application complete? Does it contain all the requested information and materials in the format that is clear and easy to understand? C, okay. that, oh, that should be B. Oops. Uh, B is the proposed artwork temporary in nature, yet able to withstand various weather conditions for a minimum of four months. So wait and, a minute, what did we delete? Uh, it was about inter whether it was interactive or not. Oh, yeah, thank you. Number two, experience and commission. Does the artist, oh, so, and then so delete or reduce the numbers? Which one are we on? Two, Two. Exper experience and commission. Oh, yeah, yeah. I say delete. I, I would suggest reducing the value of the All right. points. How about, but how about five, I, five? I don't know how others feel. No, I take it back. I think you're right. Five, 10, 15, 20. Yeah. This is this is reasonable? Sounds more reasonable. Yeah. Technical review. Does the artist's work samples and CV resume demonstrate substantial enough experience? Uh, you can say you can get rid of enough. Okay. Enough. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Has well, I have, artist... I have a question though. Is, are, are we not? uh doubling up on points there because uh, if know. you go back to if you go back to two we're asking does the artist have experience with commission-based work and then in three yeah. we're asking if the samples and resume demonstrate experience it seems like if someone does have that experience we're we're, we're doubling their points yeah. uh and penalizing someone twice who may not do you feel like we could delete this one? Yeah. 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 Kind of, in a way, it's sort of redundant. Yeah, I yeah. think it is. Robert, what do you think? Yes. Yeah, I, I think it's covered in, in the uh, previous section. Okay. okay. I agree. So yeah. And the things that we really care about are still yet to come in the B and the C that covers that, which will now be the new A and B. Right. All right. Great. Great. Um, and then four is the artistic merit and creativity. Does the artist's statement of interest clearly articulate their interests and commitment for this project? How well does does do wait? How well do the artist presented? How well does the artist presented artwork proposal? I don't like the wording. Uh, how well does the artist presented? Uh, how about presented. just give it that uh, yeah. artist artwork? <laughs> Uh, how about 
artist propo artist there you proposal. Go. Artist proposal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ref fresh air right there. How well does the artist proposal design in general? Uh, we don't like that uh, general or uh, and uh, style. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Style yeah. align with the overall goals of this project. How yeah. well does the proposed artwork <clears throat> capture the essence of the project theme? Uh, rate the artist's overall sense of creativity and overall quality of works, mm -hmm. a quality of work uh, from one to 10 and with 10 being highest. So if we've reduced the point total in the previous section, are we going to give more points towards the artistic yeah. vision? Yeah. Here, which to me makes sense. Maybe. Right. Uh, think so ideally uh, we want to end up with 100 points at the end <laughs> yeah you know i can't just um let's see here i feel no. like we oh i can't remember what do you think we have to say in here like nothing like obscene like something that's uh, uh, like okay for public art do you think we have to say that or do you no. think that work itself out i think that will work itself out yep. yeah can someone look at the two your your hard copy if anyone has a hard copy what, was the, what was the points for two yeah between? it had been it had been 30 previously it was so 30 took, so that we, we have reduced 10. it by 10 yeah and, and then, then number three number three was also 30. so okay so we have 20 points to play with right like, if you will so yeah and that was where we were thinking under four we could because this is, you know, the heart of it. Mm -hmm. um, so we could, so we have 20, so we could say 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, so it could be 15. How about 15, 15, 15, 15? Uh, I like the theme having a little bit more so that like you, yeah. it really. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, I felt the um, oh, this is, like, I like oh, this is it C. Oh. Uh, how about if this is 20? Well, I like the artist's overall sense of creativity and quality being the highest one. Yeah. Um, uh, which one is that? B. 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 D, yeah. B, this one? D. Maybe. Uh, oh, so we only have, tw so we just gave, <laughs> I feel like we're playing some sort of game. We just gave away <laughs> 10. Um, um, would you want to make this also uh, 20? If that's 20 also, then I think we're back to 100. I think yeah, equilibrium are, yeah. has been restored. Uh, okay, so now we add this to 60 and um, to write yeah, in this is 60. But it's a shame to, to make the quality of the art the lowest in the thing. I know, that doesn't make sense. It's that's, just, make, that's crazy. Yes. Oh, that, that's a good point. So um, let's see here. How could we do this? So just say, does the artist's statement of interest articulate their their commitment for this project? You don't, you already said statement of interest, so you don't need to say their interest. Clearly articulate their, their commitment to this project. And that's I don't even that understand chant. why that's there. We could oh. get rid of that. Maybe yeah, that's not necessary. This, this one, this, how does everyone feel about that? Good. Okay, so now we have we have ten more points to play with. Put that with the art overall in D. Okay, so that would be thirty. It's no. ten right now. No, I, I think no. what what she's suggesting is make each one yeah. twenty. Oh, 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 there you go. Okay, thank you. Yep. Thank you. Okay, and now we're back at sixty. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we'll just put the letters on that. And um, and what number that was number four? So now we'll go to. That one was 60, and I guess the other ones are 20. Yeah. And that's up to 100. Look at us. Okay. <laughs> and then I can need to move this. I think you might have to adjust the lettering on the previous sections that got the. Oh, room. really? The kerning is off. If that's the word. Oh, was. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I didn't use um, whatever you, bullets or. Uh, numbering. And I'll I'll go through this again to see if um <coughs> any other yeah. lettering got, got messed up, but okay. And then wait, 
Okay, so then I can go like this, bring that to the next page. And whoops. And then, so I just need to get the appendix B, I just need to get that um, generic form provided by um, the finance department. And then, uh, well, I guess I don't, uh, yeah, sure. I'll put this on the next page. Um, you know, I actually almost was thinking, do we need this appendix C? I don't know, but it's, it, I think it's nice to have, yeah, and right. I doubt anyone's really going to print this. Probably most people will um, just look at this on the website and, um, you know, and, you know, the tent, we're happy to print this out for, for anyone and have, yeah, have this. Yeah. I think quick, you're quick. nice. I think it's a good thing you did. Okay. Yep. Good question. In that second sentence, the town of Amherst constructed a playground, uh, a temporary sculpture was installed by in 2022. Is that an extra? Oh, word? you know what? Because I yeah. wanted to get the name. Oh, I see. Or what okay. are your thoughts? Do you feel like uh, we should have the artist's name? Yes. Sure. I think it's it, nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, to yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I had, I, um, I meant to uh, get, careful, get that. Old Grinspoon. Is the say name that, what say that again? Harold Grin Spoon. Uh, uh, well, he, spell that. he wouldn't have been the artist though. He may have funded the project. No, I think it. Well, I think it's actually his. Like he's he, he's the artist. How you yeah, spell his last like, name? G r i n s p o o n. G r i n g r i n s p o o n. The tree-like thing, that's his. Yeah, he he likes to like make these pieces and put them all oh. like around the valley. I see them all over the place. Yeah, the, I've seen them at uh, Look Park. Now I suddenly see them everywhere. There are a yeah. lot. Uh, there's some at Look Park in, in Northampton, I've noticed. Yeah, I've mm -hmm. seen them in Westfield, uh, Springfield. But, um, I think it's two I, O's as opposed to two O's. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you. Yep. Sorry. I emailed him asking him what he expects the lifespan to be. <clears throat> They, are, they do have a lifespan, um, but I have not yet heard back. Um, but I, I expect that it will be there for a fair few years, you know, so yeah. it will be something that they'll have to consider when they think. And the, um, the circle one is still there. I remember we were talking about maybe it wasn't there anymore, but it is still there. I just saw it today. Great. Well, look at Yay. us. We did it. Yay. Yay. Holy smokes. Thank you, Maureen, for all of this that you've done to make it possible. Thank you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. And, you know, so I, I will loop back with the, I will um, loop back with the finance department, have them give a thorough look once they are satisfied with all the language and the particulars um, of, you know, legal sort of things. Um, then I will then forward on to the town manager for review as well. And um, in any other department, I need to um, have review this at one, uh, another time. And then, so once it's finalized, I will email you the, the final, final copy. But with that, um, uh, is, do you feel the board is ready to vote on, on approving this? How do you feel about it? I feel we are. I feel like I, I trust the town to do its part. Mm -hmm. I think we can yeah. move on and go ahead and vote on it. Okay, I motion that we vote to um, approve uh, with uh, town approval. We approve the call for artists. Yes. As amended by this meeting. Yeah, as amended by this meeting and um, under the <coughs> Future approval of the town. A second. Maybe put Great. something interesting in their expertise. Yeah, well, <laughs> thank you so much. This is great. So yeah, I, well, I'll we didn't I'll get vote. going with this, and um, and then I'll, I'll let you know when this. Uh, yeah, I, don't think, I don't think we voted. I, well, we I, 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 I vote quick. that we vote. <laughs> I vote that we do vote do, and and um, somebody seconded it, right? I did. Yeah. So all, okay. All that approve. Aye. 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 All that disapprove. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two,
Uh, any abstinences? Okay, so unanimous approval. Now, thank you. Congre uh, this is great. This is really exciting. Um, I'm excited. Um, I know the town of, you know, town staff is really excited to work with you all. And, and I think this is going to be really great for the community. So um, I will email you the final copy and I'll touch base with you with the, um, you know, updated uh, timeline of when this is going to go out and, and all that. And I can work with Shoshana and uh, and then um, the town manager's office about drafting a press release. Sounds great. great. Thank you for all your work, Maureen. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye.